Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Heartland Summit. which is a beautiful two-story, almost, well, over 4,000 square feet community built up in the north side of Las Vegas Valley. Uh, we have right here in front of us, we're gonna tour the 38, uh, 25 square feet floor plan, which is this one in front of us. And then we have the 44, 25 square feet floor plan on the other side. Both of these homes have two homes for the price of one. In fact, if you go onto the side of these houses, you'll see there's gonna be a door on the side and we're, we're gonna go there together and show it off to you. Now, what is the price over in this neighborhood and what amenities do you get and all that stuff? So we are in this new community called Heartland Summit. Okay, this is a new master plan community um, in uh, Tule, Tule Springs is actually the, the neighborhood that it's in, the, the master plan community. But Heartland is this specific neighborhood where they have a bunch of homes, it's probably about, I would say 2000 homes that they're building. We have some beautiful mountain views up in the north side. We are literally the farthest north, right off of, uh, I would say, Revere, exit or sorry Aliante exit uh, because it's right next to the Aliante casino over there and uh, we are looking at an HOA of a little bit over $80 uh, sorry a little bit over $100 a month with uh, this specific community actually having approximately 55 homes now this uh, this is a new neighborhood uh, Heartland is pretty much the same thing as Aliante from uh, Dior Horton but on top of that, what they're doing is they're doing also the same floor plan. So it's a really nice neighborhood out here, what they consider the Summerland of the North. As we go into this uh, model home right here, we're going to see a three car garage, 3,765 square feet. We're looking at five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms in this house with a three car garage. The one next door also, it's a 4425 that's the biggest floor plan they have which is awesome now here's the cool thing about this floor plan you have the two-car garage right here which is going to be a two-car garage then you have the single one over here and then on the side you have another entrance which goes as you can see a door to the garage right here and then a door to the house which is kind of like an apartment unit within your house that you can rent out or you can you know give out to let's say a kid uh, let's say your favorite kid or um, you know maybe if it's a multi-generational uh, family then you can you can put in your mother-in-law or whoever you want as we walk into the main front house right here we have a nice wide hallway uh, as you can see you'll see also your staircase going to the second floor over to the right we'll have a full den over here with uh, with its own closet as you can see so this is a full bedroom technically okay and then we have a nine foot ceilings on the first floor six foot eight doors good size bedroom we're looking at about 11 by 12 which is very spacious and then you get the full closet now this one is probably going to be used as a den because i believe this one does not have a full bathroom downstairs which is what kind of you know um, I think is the fault of this specific floor plan. We have plenty of storage with your smart panel over here to the left in the storage. And it goes underneath the stairs as well. Now, as you can see, that's the full bedroom, but then we don't have a full bathroom, I believe. Let me double check here. Beautiful open floor plan. There we go. We have only a powder room downstairs in the main house. Now you do have a full bathroom in this next gen. So you remember that door we saw from the front on the side of the house? That is the entrance door to the next gen. We'll get there in a second. Now, the floor plan is amazing. The size of the lots is amazing also. You can fit a few pools back there. And then uh, eight foot doors in the back, that's an upgrade. Uh, usually uh, is not included, but this time it is included in this house. But we do have a nice l shape setup, As you can see, plenty of room here in this living room dining room on that side and then your kitchen right here with your pantry in the back which is very well positioned i would say access to the garage will be that door right there on that side so you walk into the garage 
and you're here in the kitchen. Beautiful upgraded cabinets, upgraded countertops. All of this is included in the base price. Actually, this um, this countertop is, is a gorgeous one that, that they have also included. The white shaker is also included, which is nice. We get the 42 inch height on the cabinet. That's all included. And then the weird pull appliance package with the canopy hood, 36 inch co uh, burner cooktop with the five burners. And then your built-in oven right there, built-in oven under and microwave as well on top gorgeous now backsplash is not included also the refrigerator is not included this one costs like around four fourteen hundred dollars or so and then uh you can see the undermount sink uh you know all the included features here really nice uh you know usually what people tend to upgrade to for for the most part as you can see the pantry is spacious we have two two racks right there uh let's see now, the only downside, that's such a bummer because if that bedroom had its own bathroom, that would be ideal. Because down here, this would be the bathroom. There would be a full bathroom over there, which is, I guess it works. But I feel like in here, they, could, they had enough room to put in a full shower as well. So I'm not sure why they didn't do that. A little bit of a design flaw. Now, walking in here, this would be the next gen, right? So you got to consider, you could also wall this off if you wanted to after. Not that you're supposed to, but you could if you wanted more privacy between the two homes. And then uh, you can see the stacked washer and dryer, which is going to be used uh, ex exclusively from these people that living that are living in this house. Uh, this will have its own kitchen, as you can see. We have refrigerator, not included, and all the cabinets, your sink space. It's a little bit smaller than an actual sink, but it still works. And the only thing it's missing is that <clears throat> uh, something like a cooktop or something to cook on. You will get a microwave here on top, I believe. I think they just haven't installed it yet, but it's gonna go on top right there. And then uh, as you can see, we have a, your living room here, a little bit of a dining room. You put a TV up there, you know, put a nice couch on this side and still have a little dining room. This will be the entrance from the side of the house. And the people that are parking in the third car garage could get out from the door from the garage and come straight into here so they don't have to get into the house. When we go down here, we'll see your bathroom downstairs. It's a full bathroom. And as you can see, we have, you know, really good space here on the countertop and walk-in shower, the fiberglass enclosure and your glass door. We go out to the bedroom downstairs. This one is spacious too. As you can see, we have a queen size bed. There's plenty of room. Uh, your cabinets on the side. They even added your dresser. So that should be plenty of room. And your walk-in closet downstairs. This one is not the biggest one, but you can definitely double rack it here to, have, to get a little bit more out of your space. All right, so. Let me know what you guys think so far about this house. We're gonna go upstairs, show you the second floor, and then we'll go over to the bigger model, which is nice. Oh, I forgot. We've gotta show you the back here first. So, <clears throat> let's see. There we go. As I mentioned before, you can fit a few pools in these backyards. This is the average size lot. They do have some nice corner lots that have doubled the backyard, but uh, it's something that, you know, it's not gonna come across, you're not gonna come across those very often. And uh, if you do, you're probably gonna have some competition because right now they are, they are forming a waiting list. They have, I believe, another 20 people on the waiting list waiting to get a home here. And these are people that are pre-qualified with their lender as well. Full covered patio included. And then look at the size of this backyard. We're, look, we're talking about 40, 45 feet deep, which is awesome. And then about 65 wide as well. Now the backyard is not gonna be landscaped. That's something you have to do after. All the rocks that you see right there is just gonna be dirt. Okay, so you, you're gonna have to spend a few, I would say 20, 20 to 25 grand in that back here, depending on what you do. If you put in a pool, you've got to consider another budget of 60 to 70,000. So keep that in consideration. Here's your garage. 
which is right now an office. I can't show it to you. And we're going upstairs to the second floor. See, this is the included carpet. Everything you see is what you get. Even the paint color, not the accent walls that you see like that one, or, you know, if you have some kind of furniture and stuff like that, that's obviously not included. That's just for the model home. Loft, spacious loft. This is a nice layout, I like it. I like how it's a little bit secluded here to the side as soon as you get up. Then you have your primary bedroom here. And then over there in the back, you have the other bedrooms, which uh, let's go from there first. We'll finish off into the primary. Washer dryer not included. However, I do like that they give you a pre-plumb just in case you can put in your own sink after. Uh, cabinets on top, that's nice, included. Washer and dryer, you can buy them for $1,500 for the pair if you go to Home Depot or something like that. Or you can get it through their builder. They just upcharge for it, so I wouldn't advise them. Two undermount sinks, nice cabinets. You have right here the door to your fiberglass enclosure. Shower and tub combination. This bathroom will be shared by these three bedrooms. So one, two, three, four with the primary. Then we have five downstairs, that extra bedroom for guests, I'm guessing, or even uh, let's say as an office. And then you have the next gen. So that makes it six bedrooms in here, which is awesome. Very spacious room. This is a twin size bed, but you have to consider we have a desk on that side. We have a nightstand on this side. You could easily fit a king size bed in this room. Okay, so keep that in mind. They have some beautiful lots, which by the way, I'm supposed to show you guys, forgot to get the sheets, but uh, this is the perimeter. They have a little bit of a park on this side, but on the other side over there, they have some beautiful mountain views on that side. And those are the perimeter homes. Those are gonna have single stories on it. The two stories are gonna be in the middle. So if you're looking for a mountain view, probably not gonna get over here, okay? I had some clients that were interested in that and most likely you're not gonna get it unless you you might get some specific lot that uh, you know is able to see those mountain views. And as you can see, second bedroom still very spacious. This is a queen size bed. We have still a desk next to you and your nightstand and more room around. So, I mean, all of these could fit a king size bed just for, uh, you know, to have a good idea of how much space you have. So we'll get a linen closet down here. Again, same space right here. <clears throat> Twin size bed, but still desk. This would probably fit better a queen size bed, but it could fit a king as well, I think. It does have, however, a nice walk-in closet. That's nice. Going out, we'll go back to the primary. One thing they changed is these switches right here. Kind of squared, a little bit different. So I like how they're doing that. This uh, unit will get two air conditioning units, by the way. You'll get recess lights also into your primary and your loft as well, as well as the ceiling fan. But look at the size of this. That's a king size bed. It looks very small compared to the bedroom, right? That's how spacious this is. We're looking at about, I would say 16 by 20, maybe more than that. So, yeah, 16 by 20. And then uh, they do have, depending on the countertop that you choose downstairs, you'll get that same material here in the walk-in shower and around the tub, which is nice. Spacious tub. It's gonna be fiberglass. You're also gonna get the fiberglass pan, glass door, and as you can see the granite here. Sink on the right, separated from the sink to the left. So you have that nice separation. This will be your water closet and last, his closet, because she's gonna get this one. Woohoo! plenty of room. Look at that. Nice. Well, I showed you this home. Now we're gonna go next door to my favorite floor plan out of these ones that they have. Obviously, the most expensive one, right? 425. Now, the price on this one, you can get this one as low 
as, I would say around 600,000. Right, right now, they don't have any of these homes available. They only have the 3800 model, which is another model that I've toured before, and you'll see it in two other videos. So if you just Google, you know, Dear Horton 3825 and put my name in there, Jack Graham, you'll get a breakdown of that floor plan because I have toured it before. Um, but right now they don't have any homes available because they have a waiting list. They have one home, it's a 3825 model, and that's it. And that one is listed at 612. So this one being a little bit smaller of a square footage, it usually sells for a little bit less. It's going to have, it's going to be around, I would say 600 or so, maybe 590. Now there's a catch to this, and that's something that people don't understand. By the way, I don't know if you hear it. You hear the jets? That's the Air Force Base that does uh, a lot of uh, tests over here. Some people like it, but something to consider also when you live out here in North Las Vegas, you might have, uh, you know, uh, some airplanes or whatever flying over, you know, fighter, um, fighter jets and all that stuff. And you can hear it uh, from the house. Now, people love it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. So keep that in mind. Now, another thing that I, I forgot to mention on this one, we have a SID. SID is a Special Improvement District Tax. What is that? Um, in order to build this neighborhood out here, they had to, uh, you know, the, the city has to charge the buyer in order to bring all the amenities, all the infrastructure to this site. So they charge you about $22,000 and it's payable $2,000 a year for, I don't know, 30 years or something like that, if you want to pay it. Otherwise, you can do a prepayment. And they they charge you a penalty if you pay it off up front. I think it's 22,000. I don't know what the prepayment uh, penalty is, but you're probably gonna be somewhere around 25 grand to pay it off up front. Keep that in consideration when you're buying up here because yes, it is 600,000, the starting price, but then you have to add that sit on top of it. So uh, consider 625 out the door, okay? Now, 4425, I love this elevation. This is the, I believe it's the B elevation. That is the A elevation for the 3700, which is more of the Spanish look. This one gives you a little bit more, uh, you know, with the flat roof tiles, a little bit more modern colors and all that stuff. Nice pop house with the white accent right there. And both come with a little bit of a front porch. Put a few chairs out here and enjoy, let's say, your mountain views from the front, that's for sure. And most of these homes are gonna have those views. Then you walk into your door, front door, to the left. There's some nice tall ceilings going to the second floor. And then uh, this will go into your living room. Over here you have a powder room. Coat closet with your smart panel there. That's where your internet goes. All the Cat 5 and Cat 6 that goes into all the rooms is gonna be connected to that. Powder room, as usual, very spacious. Pedestal sink, that's what's included. A linen closet down here, that comes in handy. And then uh, you go into the floor plan, which is really nice. I do like how they have the living room a little bit separated, but still open to the kitchen, so that's cool. Kitchen is a little bit bigger, I feel like, than the other one. A huge countertop here for, I would say about 10, 11 feet wide. That could fit easily five seats. And then you have right here, refrigerator, again, not included. Same appliance package, which is included. These are a few of the options as far as the quartz. This one is a little sparkly. Then you have the brown option, the white options that you saw next door. And they also have a gray option for their cabinets. So something to consider when you're trying to buy a home out here because uh, there are sometimes some options where you can actually choose which color you want out of the three available. Same as the countertops and flooring. Flooring for sure you can choose it. Countertops and cabinets, it depends how far along they are with the building process. All right, very spacious this house. Now one thing to consider and my client pointed out to me, uh, these are actually diffusers. So what, what this is actually the air conditioning and it's, uh, it's kind of spread out into the house. Instead of having one vent that supplies one full room, it's spread out right here where you have one, two, three, four, uh, and five of uh, these vents that pretty much spread out uh, the air conditioning, uh, you know, throughout the house, which is 
it's nice from a functional perspective, but I don't like to have all those things on the ceilings. I feel like it's a lot going on. I personally am not a fan of it, but I do like the functionality of it for sure. Huge dining room, your door going to the outside. Then your living room, I like how it has its own space. You have plenty of walls right here to put in all your couches. I, I like to point those things out because it's, it's very important when you're buying a house. Sometimes it's not really functional of a living room, but this one is very functional. Then if, you still, if you're still you know, cooking or something in there, you can still see the TV from there diagonally, which is nice. We'll go to the backyard, see what kind of backyard this one gives you. And there it is. Covered patio has a little bit of an L shape. Again, plenty of room in, under the covered patio here. And it goes down all the way until there. They did have an option in the other homes that they had to go all the way down with the covered patio. I think it's an overkill. You really don't need it. Maybe you can put uh, something else over there. I have a client that wants to put a soccer field for their kids, uh, for their kid, you know, so that they can, you know, play and they have enough room. So that would be perfect for there. And then you can put a pool right there, right in front of the cover patio. You still have plenty of room out here. So that's nice. Going back in. We'll go now to the next gen. Just like the other house on the other, on the side of the home, and I'll show you right now, we'll go out from that side. On the side of the home right here, you can go into the next gen. Now this would be the entrance from the garage going into the house. And then that would be the separation between the apartments or whatever casita, attached casita that you have with the main house, okay? Linen closet. <clears throat> your garage, which is now locked, but it's a three car garage. Oh, and then your next gen. Hi. Hello. Yeah, the reason why they lock it is because they have an office in there, so there's people working. I don't want to go in there and, you know, disturb them. A beautiful size next gen. Now I do like this one for the layout of the next gen a lot. It gives you a lot more square footage here in the living room, which is great. Uh, this one is locked. This will be the side door. As you can see, you'll have a little bit of a walkway on the side of the house. Well, they didn't, they didn't landscape it with a walkway on this model, but you will have it so you can get to the side and you have your own entrance in this casita. Plenty of room here for your living room, even a coffee table. You don't have a full dining room, although you could put a dining room table right here, right above the T, right under the TV. I think that would be great. But over here, they put a little, you know, two seat dining room. That's usually what you need for this size of a house. And then the full kitchen over here, it's spacious. You have the full refrigerator. And then right behind over there, you have that washer and dryer. I wonder if this is the pantry as well. Yep. You can use this as pantry or you can use it as a linen storage or whatever. Stack, this is gonna be electrical and gas. And then uh, all you're missing here again is the cooktop, which you can put something over here. You can put the microwave on top and you're all set. They, the reason why the builders do not put that in there into these models is because otherwise it would be considered a duplex and they do not want that because this is uh, the city. Well, this part of the city is actually, you know, um, it's made to be single family homes, not duplexes. So the moment you put in a door and two stoves and two kitchens and all that stuff, it becomes a duplex by law. And then they cannot build that. But it's easily convertible, I would say. If that's what you want to be, do, you know, be legal, then yes. Queen size bed. Look how much room you have around. You can definitely fit a king size bed in here. There's plenty of room which I like. And then the full bathroom, this one has two sinks even, which is awesome. And the full walk-in shower with the seat as well. Fiberglass enclosure. Okay, so full bedroom, full bathroom, huge space over here. This is definitely the biggest one of their next gens. But let's go up to the second floor now and see the second floor of this house. Nice little ceilings up here. Brings in a lot of light. White mission style. Uh, 
stair rail, and then you have that pony wall going up to the loft, which is one of the biggest ones that they have. By the way, guys, if you haven't done so already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you need any help purchasing a home, all my information is down below in the description. I would love to assist you and earn your, earn your business because at the end of the day, I love to help people and get them into the right house for them. So if you need that kind of realtor that is experienced with new construction homes, that knows about all the new communities out here in the valley, the locations and everything, and give you the right advice on where you should go and live, check out my uh, the description. You have all my information, phone number, email, text message, whatever it is, reach out to me so we can get in touch and get you started with the whole process that I have for helping people buy a home out here. Whether you're from out of town, I have all the tools to help you out. If you're not quite ready yet, you can check out in the description, there's two links, one for new construction homes and one for resale homes. There's an app for resale homes. You can download that and you can start your search there. Okay, little pitch right there, but check out this loft. Stunning, very spacious. Now, the price on this one is gonna be somewhere, they just sold right now a lot, as you can see, 672, but that is a corner lot. It had a huge backyard. So this one, you're probably looking at around 730 to 740 out the door, maybe 750 max for a regular lot, similar to the model home. But if you get a corner lot, you're probably gonna have an extra premium on that lot. So keep that in mind. We have one bedroom over here, bathroom in between, another bedroom back there, and then we have the primary bedroom on that side. Now over on this side, we have another two bedrooms. So we have six bedrooms in here, which is really nice. Let's start from the first one. Spacious. They stage it into an office, but this could easily fit a queen size bed. And you also get the walk-in closet. Oh, spacious. I'm gonna be saying spacious a lot today. If I haven't already. Two undermount sinks. You have a door here to toilet and the walk-in shower. Right there. I'm definitely gonna see say spacious on the next room. This one is very spacious. Twin size bed, but still you could fit a king size bed, I think, in here. And uh you do have over there full walk-in closet as well. Look how much room you have here. Uh, I, was, I wouldn't say king size bed would fit. I would say queen easily, especially if you're gonna put it under the under the window or you can put a queen size over on this side, but only one. I think this is more of a twin room just because of the location of the door. Now this is the room that really stands out with probably 25 feet deep right there. I mean, you're looking at you could fit three king size beds next to each other. What is that? Eight? No, that's not eight feet wide. It's like six to. It's probably around 22 feet or so deep, which is nice. And then, uh, I'm not sure what we have here. The closet is huge, spacious bathroom as well. And then, TV if you want it, extra retreat over here for your primary and now that is spacious huh look at that shoo that's like 16 17 feet deep by about seven or eight it's gonna be a lot of clothes in there right behind these model homes are building a little park there's also a little dog park right there as you can see it's gated so that's nice any dog owners will love to live up here. Also, another thing to consider up here, we have a lot of homes going on right now. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to talk to you about this. You see those trucks right there? That's where they're building new homes next. Those are going to be single stories, huge single stories. Uh, then we have up here, there is a conservation easement or something so they cannot build over here so that's going to be like a trail uh, observatory or something like that so they cannot build over there 
then behind it, I don't know what they're going to do in the future. It's owned by BLM, the Bureau of Land Management. A little park right here, which is nice. They're going to have also a huge park just down the street. And um, it's going to be way bigger than this one for sure. And then they have a church and elementary school and all that stuff going in. Your Horton has a really nice project going on here for Heartland. As you can see, the same countertop that we saw downstairs material goes up here around the tub and in your walk-in shower. Really nice, you don't have any grout there to worry about. Two on the round sinks, plenty of room in between. Water closet, and then right here, you also have conveniently a linen closet. Now we still have two more rooms to see in this house. So let's go out there. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this home, reach out to me, I'd love to represent you. They have this model here. They have another three neighborhoods in town, actually another two neighborhoods in town at the moment where you can build this specific home. Uh, the lots are usually around 11 to 12,000 square feet, okay, for, for a house like this right now. One bedroom, two bedroom, bathroom in between. And then over here we have the laundry room, which is very spacious. You still get the sink, pre-plumb, upper cabinets, Then over here we have the bedroom on this side, which is, you guessed it, very spacious. Um, that's a full-size bed. You could fit easily a king-size bed in here. Not easily, I, I mean a queen-size bed is more the appropriate size. Um, king is gonna be a little bit tight. And then full walk-in closet. I like to say king or queen, so it gives you a good idea of, you know, what kind of beds and furniture you're gonna need into this house if you plan on buying it. Especially, you know, who, which kid is gonna get the queen, which kid is gonna get the twin or whatever. And then we have right here that walk-in, no, the tub and shower combo and the toilet for this one. And last but not least, definitely a king size bedroom here. You can definitely put a king size right there. That's a queen size, as a matter of fact. It looks small. So this is going to be probably for your favorite kid. Full walk-in closet as well for that kid. And then here are the views of the mountains that we have behind you. These are stunning. These are north side mountains. They're pretty impressive. In the, in the, in the winter, it snows and uh, the top of the mountain actually gets white. So it's really nice. They have some lots right here on the perimeter. Lots are going to be single stories. The ones in the middle right here are going to be two stories. So if you're interested in the single stories, you can check out my video about Heartland Manor. M-A-N-O-R. Here it is. Okay. And those are the single stories, which are these two models right here that I toured uh, just recently. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I know I... I bored you for 30 minutes about this uh, whole community, but a lot of people out there are looking for this information. So I want to be that, that person that adds that value to you. That way, one day, if you're interested in buying a home and you want to buy one of these new construction homes out here in Vegas, I can be that point of reference to help you guide you through the whole process of uh, buying one or even if it's a resale home or anything else out there on the market. Thanks for my, uh, thank, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want more uh, videos like these. And I'll see you guys in the next video.